could be a uh, universal flu shot on the way. And what is going on with this country, especially in the northeastern part of the country? The flu is kind of out of control. I think we're at a high level around here, Dr. Mike. I, there's no question about it. I'm seeing it every day. Tons and tons of flu cases. And listen, folks, the bottom line is, if you didn't get your flu shot, it's not too late. Get your flu shot. Make sure that you do the right thing. Now, if you're sick, what you need to do is to stay home. Now, in my office, and some of you kind of know the, the drill, yeah. I swab you, and we at Penn look for about 20 different things, and we can diagnose you with COVID, RSV, flu, and tons of flu going around, tons. How and there's treatment. do you get that result back? About 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah. And for folks who are saying, well, there already is a flu shot, what will be the difference of this? Well, what uh, Penn is looking at is a universal flu shot. Now, I, I was at the Eagles game yesterday. I'm very right. honored to be there. And I hung out with Dr. Paul Offit, wow. who is a world expert in vaccinations from CHOP. And so he and I were talking about things. Uh, look, uh, they've done studies in mice and ferrets, and that's working out very well. We have to wait and see how this works for humans. But the idea is, instead, instead of guessing what this popular strain is going to be, this will cover all the strains and will be covered when it comes to the flu? Two things. It's messenger RNA technology, just like the COVID vaccine. Uh, but also, it's more to prevent like a pandemic, having a response and giving it to kids early on so that they uh, will have some immunity should a pandemic of flu like mm. Spanish flu uh, in 1918 uh, Came about. Right. Oh, okay. well, I'm glad yeah. the, the yeah. ferrets are going to be okay. Sure. They're doing well. Yeah. So, what is this COVID stuff doing to our teenagers? Aging their brains. Very fascinating study looking at scans of teenagers before and after the pandemic. And they showed changes consistent with aging beyond their, their age. Aging by how much? About three years. Uh, we don't know if it's long lasting, but when you have things, and, and this had to do with anatomic changes in the brain, a decrease in the frontal cortex, uh, and, and a number of other changes, the amygdala, a few other things, but uh, decrease in uh, uh, cognitive uh, abilities and also emotions. Oh now, God. hopefully this will go away. It's just a phenomenon, but if you look through history... What do history, you mean by go away? Like it'll, well, it'll work itself it, out as far it, as your brain is? I, I think that it may resolve, but we don't know. They're going to no. look at scans again in a couple of years to see if it's actually changed. We'll be studying this for the next 50, well, 100 We're years. Always We're always studying. That's what we do in medicine. 1918. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, wait a second. We probably should have started with this. There's possibility of getting a vaccine against cancers. Yes. What? It's called immunotherapy. And, and, and if you're out there, folks, and, and, and you, you were diagnosed with cancer, uh, not to fear. We are on the crest of a wave of all kinds of treatments that are far beyond chemotherapy and radiation. It's called immunotherapy. We have CAR-T treatment. There are all kinds of treatments. And, and what this uh, uh, field is doing is they're giving you an injection, an immunization that will allow you your body to fight its own cancer, even if it's metastatic. So the big problem with metastases is that the cancer right. is all over the place. It's too late. And so if you have the body uh, develop immunity to those cancer cells, it can go wherever those cancer so cells are. So you would have, have to have been diagnosed with cancer before you got the vaccine, or you get the vaccine no, no, before no, no, cancer no. shows right. up? No, you have to. You have the cancer, and okay. then this is called immuno. Therapy. Perfect. Hey, I want to shout, Mr. and Mrs. Lori, uh, nicest people invited, uh, people like me and Offit. And, uh, just, By Lori, you mean Jeffrey Lori? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, the, the Eagles organization, unbelievable. That's why they're winning. He's a great guy and his wife is unbelievably nice. All right.